Hi guys, my name is Spietti and today I'm gonna show you guys how you guys can get text-to-speech for your TikTok viewers in your TikTok live streams. So the first thing you're wanna gonna do is go to Tickfinity. I will link the description to this website in the description below. So there's two ways that you can do this, but the easiest way to do it is, and by the way, make sure that when you're streaming on TikTok, you have this pulled up and you do need a stream key or TikTok Live Studio for this to work, but you will need to have this up in the back. But you're gonna go to TTS chat right here and they're basically the first thing you're gonna wanna do, make sure you have it enabled. Here's just the default pitch and stuff like that. Uh, but basically you can pick who you want to use it. So basically all users, followers. For me, I have a lot of people in my chat, so I have mine set to just the people that subscribe to me and my moderator. Now you can have it read every single message by clicking any comment or any message that starts with a dot or any uh, that starts with a slash or your own, own custom command. For example, I have mine set to they need to type exclamation TTS before the Texas speech will trigger. You can set this up with donations. So for example, with Tickfinity, if someone were to send me five roses, they will get five points. So you could have like the cost of message be five. There's really no way for your viewers to know how many points they have. So ideally, this is not the best. But you could just tell people, hey, look, send 50 roses and you'll have a text to speech in 50 if you send. Then, of course, down here, you have the. Then, of course, down here, you have things like cooldown per user. So I have mine set to my subscribers or my moderators could only send a text to speech every 40 seconds. A max queue length, I have mine set to five. So not more than five will trigger at any given time. And a max comment length, so only 40 characters can be sent in a text to speech. And then you can also filter letter spam on. So you're not going to get R R R R R R R R R. So this right here is basically what you want. Want it to say so for example if you wanted to include the username you would put the brackets username in front of it that way it would say spaghetti and then read the comment but if you just leave it as default it will just now there is one other way to do text-to-speech i'm not really sure why you would do it this way but in case you want to i will show you anyways you would go to action and events and from there you're basically going to create a new action Events, you would create new action and you go to here read text to speech the only really way this is useful is this one more is if you wanted to say something specific so for example if someone sent a rose and you wanted it to say their usernames you would put in brackets username sent a rose you are awesome i know username sent a rose you are awesome and then if you were to go to an event basically what you would do from there is you would make it so sending a specific gift you would choose the rose under here and then any single time someone sent the rose it would always say so and so sent a rose you are awesome and then under trigger these events make sure you click whatever you named your action if that makes sense all right guys i'm gonna end the video there because i like to make my videos as short as possible if you're confused i'm very responsive in the comments so feel free to leave a question